Let's take a quick tour of all the buttons and what their functions are. At the top left here, we have our source button. We can press and hold to power down the receiver. Tapping the button turns the receiver back on. This also toggles through our multiple sources, FM, AM, Bluetooth audio, auxiliary, and of course, if you have added the Cirrus XM tuner, this will be inside your Cirrus XM options as well. This is your track forward button or station scan forward seek button, and below is your track back or your station scan seek back button. Tapping that will scan backward, tapping this one will scan forward. In the bottom left hand corner is a small key that allows you to detach the face panel. You can remove this for security reasons. Reinstalling it is simple. You simply place this end in first and snap the panel back in place. Underneath here is our foam control and microphone button. Here we have our surge key and it doubles as our return key. By tapping this button, it allows us to search MP3 files inside of folders or forward through our presets on our AM and FM settings, including Sirius XM. Pressing and holding will return back to our standard menu. Next to that, we have our one through six preset buttons. To store a station in a preset, you simply press and hold on the station you want to store on the preset you want to store it in. Above each one of those icons, one through five, you have a secondary function for each one of these five buttons. Here we have a folder up and down button key for one and two. Number three is a track mix key. Here is a track repeat key, and this is your mode adjustment key that can be used in different various settings. Next to our presets, we have our display adjustment key and our settings key when you press and hold. Tapping the settings key will change the display settings on the display. Here you can see we're scrolling through the information about the radio station, even dimming the screen and its surrounding buttons. It will display artist information on an AM FM station when broadcast from a supporting radio station. You can choose the display that you want through toggling through the different selections. Next to this, we have our Amazon election activation button. Above that, we have our USB input with a panel covered door. And next to that, we have our auxiliary input. And across the top here, we have our CD input mechanism. And just next to that, we have our CD eject key.